Hello everyone, this is Colin, a chromatic damage dealer benefit. I mean, an epic damage dealer brawler. Colin has an ability to obliterate tank brawler and haste safe very easily. Why can obliterate haste safe so easily? I will explain it later in the video. This crazy vanity girl is a unique brawler who can deal damage depend on enemy health bar. More simply, Colin used a percentage from opponent's current health as a damage output. The more health they have, the greater damage it deals. The less health they have, the less damage it deals. That's why she can deal a massive damage to a tank brawler who has a lot of health and got the title of the anti-tank brawler. But it doesn't mean she's not a threat to a normal brawler. With precise calculation with her ammo and super, she can destroy any kind of brawler. Not only brawler, even a pet, fox, robots, and safe is not safe for her. Get it? Safe? Safe? Huh? <clears throat> anyway, now let's talk about her normal text, super, firepower, gadget, and her hypercharge. Colette's normal tech, texting sword. Colette fires a hot shape projectile at long range. At next level, it's dealing 37% of the opponent's current health, and the minimal damage this normal attack can do is 1000 damage. To be honest, I'm not good at math, but I know 37% as damage is a big number. And to make it easier to calculate, if you can land all her 3 ammo and enemy at full health, every next attack will definitely cause smaller damage than before. To visualize it, if you have full 3 ammo and 1 opponent, the first attack deals 37% of opponent's current health. Your second ammo damage will be lower because opponent's current health is decreased from the first attack. On your final third ammo, it's still more or less damage than your second attack. But still, the minimum damage you can deal is 1000 damage. And also, she can deal 2000 damage to a special target. What is the special target? It's basically a pet, power box, and safe from haste mode. All of that is count as special target. And Colette deal only 2000 damage on them and not use percentage on them. And, the difference between Colette and other brawler is, it's hard for Colette to take that opponent with only using her normal attack. Her normal attack will function is to harass or decrease opponent's health as low as possible. Remember, this only applies if you focus only at one full health opponent. First, the lowest damage her normal attack can deal is only 1000 damage, and her reload speed is constantly slow. That's why, to maximize her normal attack, you need to combine her normal attack with her super, gadget, and hypercharge. 
That's why now I'm gonna tell you guys about her super time to collect. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Collect, collect. <clears throat> anyway, collect super time to collect. Collect dash forward a long distance until she reach a maximum range or it's blocked by a wall. And then dash back to her starting position. It's still 20% of opponent's current health, forward and back on next level. For special target, her super deal 4000 damage forward and back on max level. Cause special target didn't need percentage, her super can deal 2 times forward and back damage. That means it can deal 8000 damage with one super. Because her super is moving forward and back, just like Carl's normal attack. It's different from Charlie's normal attack, because her normal attack didn't have strike 2 to opponent or object. Different from Carl's normal attack and Colette's super. To charge her super, it's made 4 hit with her normal attack. Hitting one enemy with her super forward and back is considered as 2 hit. So, you can add 2 more normal attack to fully charge back her super. And that means, if you hit 2 enemy at the same time with her super forward and back, you will instantly charge your super back. To use her super correctly, you need to treat her super as 2 extra attack. Cause you need to use her super as a finisher to take down the opponent. Because with her full 3 ammo normal attack on full health opponent, you still can take down the opponent. But sometimes, you can take some of the brawler down with 4 normal attack. But with her slow reload speed, it gives opportunity to opponent to take her down first before you able to charge her final ammo. But with her super as the finisher, you can take the opponent down faster than waiting for one more ammo. Here's a recipe on how you do it. You need at least 1 out of 4 hit on your supercharge. That means you need to hit all 3 ammo to fully charge your super. If you land on her 3 ammo and finish it with her super, you can take down every brawler in the game. Even the brawler with the biggest health bar, Frank. But it excludes if your opponent have an escape, healing, or damage reduction ability. So you need to be careful. That receipt before I call it 1, 2, 3 super. There's also another receipt. This one is 2 super 1, it's mean you need 2 out of 4 hit on your supercharge. So the pattern here is 2 normal attack, up to super, and then 1 normal attack. The reason is to not waste your ammo. Plus, if you use her super immediately after fully charge, if it hits the opponent forward and back, you will guarantee 2 out of 4 hit on your super. And with 1 ammo remaining, you can get 3 out of 4 hit on your super. And the final receipt is 1 super, 2 super, 1. See the pattern here? Simply, you need 3 out of 4 hit on your super charge. With this receipt, you can use 2 super in one go. Because you have 3 out of 4 hit, you only need 1 attack and then pop your super. With that super, it charges 2 out of 4 hit and then hit them again with the 2 remaining ammo. And then you have your super again and you can use it on the second time. Sounds scary, right? But remember, you need to land all of that to perform this receipt. Oh yeah, and one final thing about her super and also the weakness of this super. Her super can go through water, but can get through strike through object because her super is not a projectile type. And also, when perform her super, Follett is become fragile, because the opponent still can hit you when you perform her super. Especially when fighting opponent with a massive damage output. For example, you need to be careful if you want to use your super on Shelly with her super ready. Because if you perform your super on Shelly, you accidentally bring yourself closer to her and she can obliterate you with her super. That's all done about her normal tech and super. Now, let's talk about her star power. Colette first star power, push it. This star power allows Colette to drag enemy she hits to the maximum range of her super. And also, when the carried brawler pulls to the farthest point of her super, it guaranteed hit twice forward and back. This star power also interrupt or cancel any attack and super, such as Carl, Maisie, Frank, or some other super. The full function of this star power is, this star power is meant to guarantee to hit Colette super forward and back, because without this star power, opponent can avoid one of the forward and back attack, so you can only hit them once instead of two hit. With this star power, they basically stuck till the father's point of her super and guaranteed double hit for attack. 
not only immobilize the opponent attack and super, it's also to push opponent back if you or your teammates get cornered. But this star power also have a weakness. Remember when I said Colette become fragile when perform her super? This star power weakness is, if you push your opponent to the farthest point of her super, there's some split second to give opponent a chance to attack or perform their super after you push them. It's really bad if your opponent have a lightning fast reaction. Because of her super weakness, there is why this second star power exists. Her second star power, Mastax. When using her super, she will get an initial 20% damage reduction shield that increase by 10% with every opponent she hits. And the shield lasts for 5 seconds after using her super. The star power reason is, of course to protect Colette when and after perform her super. And the damage reduction is increased by 10% with every hit, so the hit from her front and back super is count twice. That means if you hit one enemy with her super front and back and this star power active, you will receive 20% plus 20% damage reduction. That means a total 40% damage reduction on a single enemy. It's a massive damage reduction. If you hit full pre-team enemy front and back, you will receive a total 80% damage reduction. You can even receive 100 damage reduction or immunity if you hit 4 or more opponent port and back. But on every mode except showdown mode, aka the spin mode and the worst mode I ever know. On other mode, your opponent is only 3 open, so the max damage reduction you can get is only 80%. And some player will prefer push its star power over mass tech star power. It's because push its it's much better for damage and survivability star power. From guaranteed hit forward and back and good to keep distance against the opponent. Do you watch or remember both of my white tutorial about Jin and Jakey White video? Both of their super have an ability to pull and push opponent. And one of the trick they both share is pull and kick trick on brawl ball. It is same as Colette push its star power. It's close to Jin push and kick quick with his lamb blowout gadget. Colette push its star power can perform the same trick too. When you holding the ball, kick the ball and immediately use your super to the opponent who blocking the ball. It will push them back and give the ball a clear way to score the goal. And now, let's talk about her gadget. Colette trick gadget, uh uh. Colette next attack deals extra 1500 damage. A lot of players prefer to use the other gadget, but for me personally, this gadget is way more better. With this extra damage gadget, you can take down enemy even without your super. Because even her minimum normal attack damage is only 1000 damage, with this gadget, you can deal a total 2500 damage, and it's barely a minimum damage you can deal. That means if you land 2 out of 3 of your ammo and the opponent health is reduced around 2500 health, your final ammo can be the finisher to take down the opponent. And also, from my own experience, using her super is not as easy as you think, because her super is quite wide rather than her normal projectile type. So sometimes your super can hit a wall that is close to your side, and there's still a race so you can get destroyed, because you are fragile when performing her super. My another tip is to use her super on close range even though her super range is very long. The reason is to make it easier to hit your opponent and carefully watch the wall beside you before perform her super. Now to the colored second gadget, the one that a lot of other players use, Gacha. For the next 5 seconds, Colette's normal attack will kill for 80% of the damage she dealt and her damage to special target is increased by 20%. So simply, for the next 5 seconds, Colette's normal attack can also heal Colette depends on the damage her normal attack deals. For the example, if the opponent have 10,000 health and her normal attack deals 37% from opponent's current health, that means she can deal 3,700 damage from 10,000 health opponent. With this gadget, Colette heal for 80% of the damage she did. That means Colette is getting healed by 2,960 health from 80% of the 3,700 damage that she dealt, and it's from 37% of the damage from 10,000 health opponent. 
Yeah, math is confusing. That's why I use my own instinct and prediction rather than calculating damage and food. But that also means the less enemy health, the less damage can be dealt. And that also means less health recovered. If 1000 damage is the minimum damage, that means you can only recover 800 health. And for special targets, when this gadget is active, earth damage to special target is increased by 20%. If you're low on health with 3 ammo and attacking one opponent with this gadget, your first ammo deals massive damage and massive health recovered. Second ammo deals medium damage and medium health recovered. And the third ammo deals low damage minimum 1000 damage and low health recovered minimum 800 health. My personal tip is, rather than focus on one opponent and get less heal for every next attack, try to attack other opponents with more health to recover your health faster. And because of that, you can survive longer in the field. My opinion, this gadget is good match with next attack star power. Not only you have damage reduction, you can also heal yourself. And also, don't use this gadget if you have no ammo. This gadget only lasts for 5 seconds per charge, and because the reload speed is slow, you will waste a lot of time for only 1 ammo. So, the good way to use her normal attack is use 1 ammo and wait for it to recharge again, and keep the 2 remaining ammo as an emergency attack. That way, it's more efficient. And also, my another personal opinion why I don't like this gadget and prefer to use the other one is, because I'm bad at dodging enemy attack and sometimes have a bad aim. When I'm on low health, it's hard for me to dodge and heal opponent because I'm always get hit and miss my attack and get myself destroyed. That's why I prefer the other gadget. Cause with the other gadget, sometimes I have a bad aim, so it's better to play Colette close range and use nearby wall for recovery. But that's just my personal experience and opinion. If maybe for some player is the same as me, this can help. Also, feel free to use the gadget and star power that suit you the most. Now, for the final, the Hypercharge, the one who make Colette into safe haste killing missile. Colette Hypercharge, Thin Spirit. Colette Super make a spirit that follows her during performing her super, damaging enemies on the way. Let's give Colette a bonus 30% speed, 25% damage, and 15% shield buff. But the most prominent buff is the spirit. First, with 25% damage buff, that means her super on special target is not 4000 damage anymore. But now it's still 5000 damage. With her super moving forward and back, that means it can deal a total 10,000 damage. And with this spirit, who also following and performing super with Colette, the spirit also damage 5000 damage. And with moving forward and back, it also deal 10,000 damage. So, if you combine Colette Super Damage with the Spirit Super Damage, the total damage is over 20,000 damage. Wow, just wow. That's why the safe are sweating when they see a Colette main. Not only a safe, even a brawler can get obliterated. With her star power push hit, you can guarantee damaging forward and back from her super. But, because the spirit is following behind Colette is a little bit slow, there's still a chance for a brawler to escape from the spirit's damage, but still dealt a massive damage. Also, if you got destroyed when performing the super with the hyper touch active, the spirit is still keep performing the super without you. And remember, the best way to use hyper charge for every brawler is with a super ready. Now if you think, if a total 20,000 damage is big enough, just wait until you see the total damage if you have a damage gear active. Speaking of damage gear, now I'm gonna show you my personal gear pair for Colette. Of course, the first one and the most important is damage gear. It gives 15% damage bonus if your health is below 40%. Maybe it's a bit difficult to compare this gear with a brawler because every brawler have a different health bar and different damage output from her attack. So the easiest example is to use a special target especially the safe on haste mode. I recommend you to take a note because we're gonna do a lot of math, even though I hate math. I will make this simple, so prepare your note quick. I start with compare her normal attack first. Normal attack is 2000 damage per ammo. Normal attack with gacha gadget is 2400 damage and heal for 1920 health if hit a brawler. 
Normal attack with damage gear is 2645 damage. Normal attack with hypercharge is 3125 damage. Normal attack with gacha gadget and damage gear is 3174 damage and heal for 2539 health. Normal attack with Naah Gadget is 3,500 damage. Normal attack with Gacha Gadget and Hypercharge is 3,750 damage and heal for 3,000 health. Normal attack with Damage Gear and Hypercharge is 3,920 damage. Normal attack with Naah Gadget and Damage Gear is 4,145 damage. Normal attack with Naah Gadget and Hypercharge is 4,625 damage. Normal attack with Gacha Gadget, Damage Gear, and Hypercharge is 4,704 damage and heal for 3,763 health. And finally, Normal attack with Naah Gadget, Damage Gear, Hypercharge is 5,420 damage. And remember, all of that is only for one ammo. And now, let's go to Collect Super Damage Comparison with Damage Gear. Starting with only a Super with 4000 damage. With Port and Back, the total damage is 8000 damage. Super with Damage Gear is 4600 damage. With Port and Back, the total damage is 9200 damage. Super with Hypercharge is 5000 damage. With Port and Back, and also the Spear with Port and Back, the total damage is 20000 damage. Finally, Super with Hypercharge and Damage Gear is 5,600 damage. With Fort and Back and also the Spirit Fort and Back, the total damage is 22,400 damage. And all of that with only one Super. Scary, right? That's why she is now a meta on haste mode compete with Spy. Feel free to go back if you miss any note. So that's why the first recommended gear is Damage Gear. But in my opinion, this gear may be not good if you pair it with Gacha Gadget. Because this gadget function is healing you with every hit you land, make it difficult to active the damage gear. Because you need to make your health below 40% to active the gear, but you keep getting healed if you hit an opponent. And now, for shield and health gear is pretty good for survivability. Meanwhile, speed and vision gear is very good on the map with a lot of pushes. But my second personal favorite gear after the damage gear is gadget charge gear for one extra gadget charge. Because Colette really depends on her gadget. Okay everyone, that's all the thing I can tell you about Colette. And for the disclaimer, I'm not a professional brawl player. I'm just a normal free to play player who never spend any money at all. But I hope you all find my guide video helpful and enjoyable. Sorry if there are any misspeaking word, English is not my first language, but before that, you know for some small channel like me, this channel is not qualified yet for YouTube monetization or even a Brawl Star content creator code. So if you want to support me, feel free to subscribe and like this video. But if you want to support me right away, you can donate to me at the link under the description, so I can make more video like this and increase the quality of my content. And not only Brawl Star, Soon, I'm gonna make another video about other video games too. So, if you guys interest, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I see you guys later.